Well, um, I've been uh, homeless now um, almost four years, going on four years. Um, it first pretty much got started was <clears throat> when I was uh, when I lost my mom. Yeah, uh, my mom was my everything, um, and, uh, and uh, I was a, mo a mama's boy, you know. And, <clears throat> and so, it uh, when I lost her, yeah, uh, yeah, I thought I could handle it for you know, but that lasted about a year or so after she passed away and then I just kind of fell down a lot, you know, um, and I started, uh, you know, getting back into alcohol and then I was in and out of jail here and, um, and when the one part that really, like, really got me going depressed is when I lost my mom when I was in prison. <laughs> I was in prison for, yeah, for DUI and uh, when you when you when you can't you know be there for your mom's funeral or you can't even get a hug from somebody because you know when you're incarcerated nobody can hug you because that's against the you know the principle there and um, yeah so that right right there was just was just like a nightmare to me and, and then uh, yeah coming out um, com um coming out knowing that now I can't go go visit my mom or go eat with my mom or go cook for her on her birthday or send her you know mother's day card you know that you know that is hard and and the other part too is like uh, i have a heart you know like i can't go to her funeral i mean to her burial because i'm from kenya we're all from kenya and uh, and to go there on you know to, you know like first a year for her birthday and her deal and mother's day is expensive and so that kind of brought me a lot of depression um and I, I've, I've had a chance to work, um, working in great uh, workplaces that have given me the opportunity, uh, the depression and this, this things just, just sort of hurting me inside me. And um, I, one time I got this job working, um, working um, the kind of uh, swing ship graveyard and going going to um, um treatment program try to get a bit of myself and um <clears throat> I, uh, I, uh, um, actually what it started first was when i when i was living in the street working this great job i happened to be tired and i stopped at a spot a spot just to relax uh, and i got ticketed for criminal trespassing so next day I get a, you know a violation, criminal trespassing too, and I'm like, oh, but, but I'm not on the blank. I'm just sitting here. Well, you can't sit here. You can't. I'm like, I'm just got off work, doing a 12-hour shift. I just want to relax. I'm just heading to a to a shelter place while we're waiting for them to open up, and they give me a ticket, and I go to their they call the opportunity court. So I go there, and then they they told me for me to go through to get the the, the ticket off my record. I gotta go through all this program. And so, so they, you know, it's like, if you don't go through this program, we we'll, we'll incarcerate you. So they gave me this list of going through all this um, uh, shelter place, um, home for good, all this program to help me get off the street and then go through treatment. So I go through all that, I go through all that program. And I, I go through all that program. I graduated, and next thing, I'm like, okay, so what's okay, so what's next thing on the, on my deal to get into get off the street? Next thing, they're like, oh, the record showed that with your work, you might end up getting more than than meets the uh, the uh, the poverty level. And I'm like, I, I just started, you know, and uh, and it with me not having a good. Um, uh, housing um, uh, history, like rental history, that's a big thorn in the deal. And I'm like, well, how can I get that if you guys said you're gonna help me after the program? And then so now I'm stuck in the street, sleeping on the cold, trying to go to work, doing all this stuff. So I end up quitting, or I end up getting sick at work because I'm outside. And um, and uh, so so I've struggled with just when I've gone through all the opportunity that the program offers what the city offers um, and uh, um, and uh, they 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 would uh, you know they promise all this stuff but they don't follow through you know they're like huh and uh, yeah I've, you know like I said I've gone in and out of question sometimes I feel comfortable just go you know in the winter because I've met some homeless people like oh in about a week I'm gonna commit a crime so I can go to jail and be under the <laughs> get my three meals you know hot showers and stuff and 
Oh, I'm like, why are you gonna do that? And you know, but that's not something yeah, I understand. Yeah, it, yeah. yeah I it's swear like, to God, I do. Yeah, yeah. you know, in the past, I, I've tempted to do that, but right. that goes in my record, and I, I don't want to have that it. in my record. Yeah. Again. And I mean, yeah, so I've been working to, I've been trying to go to program on getting, you know, out of the street, but sometimes it's hard to, uh, you know, we got kicked out twice out of a campsite for things we've been doing. They'll put, sign, oh, you guys are doing this, doing that, and we're like, no, we're not. And then, but we have neighboring people come next to us and just be hoarders, and we're like, come on, guys, keep the place clean or we're going to get kicked out. Next we know, we got signs, you got to go, we got to go, and, uh, and so, so yeah, this is a struggle, uh, you know, is just trying to get, you know, everything going. Uh, Not this, everybody that is homeless is bad. Yeah, and then, we're, you know, we're trying to do the best. Uh, this week, you know, we got hired at, 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 you know, a job. So, we, you know, Friday we start a new job. So hopefully it works out. Hopefully right. we get a deal. Yeah. Is there else who's done? Um, and today we got a housing uh, assessment for housing. So we'll hopefully... Hopefully. But, but yeah. I'm not gonna keep my, you know, no my, my hands crossed, you know. It's just, we, well, I'm not. I'm just gonna like. We just trust yeah, the God. Just yeah, let it happen, and uh, you know. But I'll just look forward, keep my head up, and um, yeah, it's just yeah, you know, and trying to get out of this. At least one thing, as of July of this year, I got I'm out for real, which I've been in for almost 16 years, and that was one of my thorns that every time I don't pro, uh, report. They throw me in, uh, they throw me in, in incarceration for stupid thing, and then right. I lose my job over it. And right. So now, no excuse now. And now, um, yeah, so we're so, doing good. So we're trying. trying. To, <laughs> we're still homeless. Right. Yeah. We're uh, trying, working hard. Yeah. So we're trying to stay positive and keep, keep our head up. You know, and it's something that. Yeah. So, yeah, that's all I can do is just. Where's some of the people that try to actually crawl out of the hole? Yeah. yeah. We yeah. don't want to be in the hole. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Trying to get, yeah. Just trying to get out of the hole. That's what the key is. is yeah. Nothing beats that. Uh, we have kids, grandkids. We I don't do. have no grandkids. I hope not. Yeah, <laughs> you <laughs> do. Oh, her grandkids. Emma. Her, oh, her grandkids. Yeah. Oh. You know, yeah, I'm adopted her. Yeah, I adopted her grandkids and stuff. So. <laughs> yeah. He said no grandkids. He's yeah. got Emma. That baby touched his finger three days old. Oh. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, is just trying to get out of this uh, right. and then go back to school. Yeah. Um, that's uh, the key is be, uh, applying for programs to get back into. Um, I'm into uh, manufacturing engineering, I like working okay. with robotics and stuff. And that's a lot of my skills in the past. And I guess what I've had a chance to be in, in, in three great opportunity jobs in robotics, and and really because I'm in the street, you know, showing up to work, dealing with high, high, high heavy equipments and falling asleep or not getting the right deal. And I'm like, ah. my boss is like, what, what's going on? I'm on the street. He are you trying to say, yeah, and I'm then like. He can't say it though. Yeah, right. so yeah it's just, uh, yeah. And then, and then, you know, uh, and then I'm um, struggling with my, uh, with my addiction, which is uh, alcohol. That's my choice of drugs, alcohol. And I'm working on it. I, signed up myself nobody sent me to it i signed up myself one day like hey keep asking me are you for child support no are you for i mean uh, for uh, custody no uh, incarceration i mean or uh, legal stuff i'm like nope i'm like i walk myself just in and myself. i'm just trying to let's get out of this and that's right. what I'm, work, I'm working to do um and uh, we're working hard because right now we gotta you know go to, to the library to go study or go try to sneak into you know to so a place where we can do, you know, do study, do some stuff, mm -hmm. and without being kicked out. There's a lot of people, a lot of areas wants you to be there for only one hour, right? You know, or 30 minutes. Right. I'm like, come on, I'm just here doing something, you know. I'm not taking advantage of it. I'm right. just trying to get out of where I'm at the social Yeah. When we got here, uh, we're like at the 7-Eleven parking lot, uh -huh. and we're we're just trying to figure out like where we should go and stuff. Yeah. And we're only there for like five minutes. The lady already walks out, trying to kick us out. And yeah, just, just yeah, do. it's just something like yeah, that. Hey, it's, um, it's bad. Right. Yeah, yeah, you know. They're so mean, and there are some people. <laughs> yeah, there are some bad homeless people, no yeah. doubt. But there are some good that they they keep their stuff clean. They yeah. don't cause drama. They stay quiet. They don't bother people. Yeah. Cause yeah. we're like that, you know. And and I would like to pay for it too. But like when I get paid and have and have money, extra money on me. Someone wants to pay me, can I? I'm like, there you go. And, and I've, you know, pay it forward. I believe in that. Strongly believe in that. 
I mean, I've had yeah, the last 24 hours, like positive things has happened. And, um, you know, in Swahili, we have the saying, Akuna Matata. And that's when that's, I've learned that since I was a baby growing, growing up in Kenya. Akuna Matata. Everybody keeps saying it's the Lion King saying. Right. It's no. not, it's a Swahili. It's the origin of the Swahili. Swahili. And I'm like, and then they ask me, I can keep smiling at the, the situation. I mean, I've been cold, still smile. My, they can't take my soul away. They can do, you know, I'm still looking for, I'm still going to walk out that door, you know. Um, and be you. So, yeah, just be me. Uh, and, um, then, That's what I love best about you. So, so, so far, I can, all I can do is just be positive. Right. You know? And, you know, let the guy upstairs, you know, lead my way. You know, that is, uh, that's all I can do. He's almost so. got me ready to go to church. So. <laughs> It's a choice, uh, you know. I don't right. know. No, it's just, it's just but it's just because <laughs> I have been through so much stuff mm -hmm. in my life, even before I got here. Yeah. Oh, she tells me nightmares about her history in, in Georgia. I'm like, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just wild. Homeless is sad. Yeah. And it, it's scary. But a positive way too. Sometimes it's positive. I've seen people who have been homeless for 20 years and they love it, but they keep clean. Some of the people when I'm before meeting her. Some people that I met that taught me the way to live in the street. I'm like, wow. Thanks. You're so knowledgeable about this. I've done it for so long and they don't tell me where to go. When I used to work 20 miles away and I had to ride my bike mm -hmm. and I was living underneath a bridge. Mm -hmm. And the guy's like, no, go under this bridge. This one spot, I was there for two years. And they just keep it clean, just keep it yourself. And I did that for a year and I'm like, yeah. But they had to rebuild the bridge so I had to move out of oh. there. I'm like, oh. It was cool too. I was kept by myself isolated. I like what you guys are doing. Yeah. Thank Please. you guys.